Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today I am making a video, a follow-up of the uh, video that I did about the uh, Thermaltake uh, Ring Plus fans, uh, the RGB uh, fans uh, that come with a controller. And uh, the video that I did was to find out about the pinout of the uh, the fan uh, the fan connection itself, which I have here connected into the um, the regular controller. So these, when you buy a pack of uh, three fans it comes with the controller and this is a uh, the controller uh, that came with it and I have a whole bunch of them and I never really liked these controllers I've got a couple of them over here and uh, thanks to the pinout it allows me to do uh, much more with uh, the combination of either this uh, controller or straight with the motherboard ARGB um, uh, header the 5 volt header uh, so uh, thanks to that uh, pinout of the fan itself, uh, I came up as well with the pinout of the controller as well. So that is uh, the pinout that you see here uh, is what it is. Uh, and this is the, the pins as you see them in the controller. The way I have it right now, this one, the empty pin is bottom left. So that's the, the empty pin right here, right? Um, so, um, so that's uh, the pinout is... Uh, the empty pin, there's nothing. After that is the uh, the ground, a 12 volt tachometer, pulse width modulator for the fan part, which is the part here if you wish to switch it on the connector of the fan itself. Uh, here there's a pin that's empty. Uh, the second pin above is the five volts. Um, digital out, not being used really. Digital in, uh, which is the one that uh, is used. Uh, and um, and the ground for the ARGB control over there. So uh, that is uh, the pinout over there of this controller. So it allows me to do two things, all right? And this is why the follow-up, because the first video I did about the pinout was very theoretical, uh, and I've implemented on two of my machines a combination of those things. So on the, con the computer right now that is controlling this, this is a, a setup that I've done outside of my computer to show what I've done on another computer. But I will show you first on my current computer, and I will change the camera, so I will go to the computer. So if I look at the, uh, on the computer that I have right now, all right, this is a, um, I, the chip on this one is a i7 uh, 10, uh, 10,700K, um, so that's the new uh, 10 gen uh, of Intel. So what I've done with that, on this one here, I've got the, uh, the uh, ARGB, oh, I've got the, uh, the Thermaltake Premium uh, Plus fans 14 inches, or oh, 14, 14 centimeters. Uh, and uh, what I've done is I did split uh, because I, I did split the uh, the connector of the fans themselves, so I do control uh, my fans on the Asus motherboard on three different headers. Uh, so now it's Fan Expert that can control that, and the ARGB is all controlled through uh, the Asus um, uh, the Asus um, Aura software. All right, and I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to make it a little smaller now, all right, and I'm going to switch here to uh, my mother, to my control here, and see all the lights, I will turn off the aura, bang, everything's out, all right, on, and what I've done is that I, I, I took the, uh, the pinout of the fans that I did, and, um, yeah, let me go back over here. I uh, just crimped everything out and put that in a uh, fan connector and put all these of uh, my fans uh, on three in three zones. I've got the back, uh, uh, the back fan on one zone. The two top fans and my computer are connected to uh, the CPU, and the front fans is connected on the uh, the M2 drive because actually, uh, so I make it three nice zones. It's it's a, a control separately, and Asus Aura controls all the RGBs. All right. So that's one thing because I also separated and, and made a some connectors for the ARGB uh, using the pinout. All right, so that's one thing I was able to do.
So uh, what I've been able to do with the uh, thermal take controller is that I, to build my new machine that I just showed, uh, I took a Asus uh, Z170 Prime Deluxe motherboard, uh, did not have, uh, need, not even a standard RGB 12 volt header on it. So what I've done is I had the reel, and that's, I still, this is the leftover, I had the five meter reel of addressable RGB that I bought a year or two ago to make a video about the different style of headers in the motherboard. So I had some of that addressable RGB. I know from the uh, pinout of the header that it can control as well uh, ARGB. So I just put some little connector with the JST connectors. Uh, same thing, just bought on Amazon some JST connectors right there. Crimped the whole thing, so uh, we soldered uh, the, the connector here. I uh, made a little cable with the GST over here with a, a, a you know a, a five pin header that I use with my little Molex kit, a two by five. So uh, and what I've done with my two by five, this is a two by five uh, connector. And what I've done is I just put epoxy in the one that's uh, that is supposed to be empty. Uh, so I make sure that I always you know get the proper um, polarity, all right? So anyway, so that's what I've done. So the beauty of this and the point uh, on this section is if you have a non-ARGB or a, 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 a motherboard that does not have uh, RGB header, yeah, you can buy the controls and all of this, but this uh, thermal take, uh, you know, controller that comes with the, the kit of premium fan, of uh, Ring Plus fans, you can control RGBs, ARGBs with this, right? 5 volt ARGB, which is the uh, 5 volt um, empty and data and uh, ground, right? Pin out. So you can control that. So this is what I've done. I've done my own little cable over here. And as you can see, uh, with the, and now I'm going to show the other software that I'm using. Uh, so this is on a standalone computer. I have the Ring Plus over here. I've got the, I call it the Lumi Plus, which is a RGB strip that um, Thermal Tech sells them for $70 for a, a Canadian for a three pack. Like a, it doesn't make sense. Uh, this reel was five meter for 20 bucks. So uh, by doing this little connector here, I, I'm able to control that. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, the, uh, the, what we can do with that. So on my daughter's computer that I built with that, I was able to get uh, the computer and I will show as well, I will edit this and show what the effects that can be done. But there was no RGB, so I was able to do a two strips of this, uh, you know, ARGB um, LED strips that I had, and I'm, you're able to do all the effects that you might want to be uh, interested of doing. Heartbeat, that's what it does. And this is what is called stack. So these are the different effects. So the point of this is that by a being able to split that controller, uh, I'm able to control the different things and do my own uh, cables that I can do for less than a dollar or two. Uh, and then with the strip that I have, our ARGB strip, uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, and that's basically uh, my new appreciation of the thermal take. I love the fans already. I had no use for the thermal take uh, controller that came with it. Uh, by splitting this, you are able to do whatever you want. Uh, so um, the beauty of this is that if you use that, is that you're able to control the fans and, a, and a, the RGB, even if you don't have an RGB a header on your computer. And I know some controls can do that, but the, con the controls that you can buy after market will not control both the fans and the RGB or ARGB, right? So it's going to be two controllers. This with this, you got everything built in. And so, um, yeah, so that's just uh, having the pinout allows you to do different things. So that's all I wanted to show. And maybe it's going to be useful for some individuals. Uh, maybe not. It's always like a good to, uh, to learn something. Uh, so uh, if it's just for the entertainment business, then uh, that's something. Uh, learning uh, value. And uh, if you're going to do mods and all of this, and you've got the motherboard, no RGB, and you want to control ARGB header, you want to control ARGB by buying a three pack of this fan with this controller, with this uh, pinout, you can do uh, basically whatever you want. All right. So this is the connector of the fan itself. Uh, seeing when you took the connector, look at the front and having the solid pin to the top. And this is when you look at the controller itself uh, and then uh, going like this uh, this is the pinout right here and so it allows you to do your connections as needed all right so um, there you go so uh, I hope that um, it's this video will have some value for some individuals if not I enjoy doing it all right thanks for watching see you in the next one take care bye bye